Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So I want to come on here and talk about this really disturbing case that a few people from Indiana have been sending me today. So if you guys do not know, this story is getting ready to go viral. It's just now breaking. But there's a woman in Indiana and her name is Jane. And basically she went live yesterday to warn, I guess, the women of her city about two guys who were on the DL. So what happened is that initially she was at the house and she forgot her cell phone and she went to go back and get her phone. She knocked on the door. Nobody answered. Nobody responded. So then she decided to basically let herself in. And as she let herself in, she said she saw her cell phone on the table. And she looked up and the two guys were fucking each other. And the one guy, she had a previous sexual relationship with him where he had, I guess, he, you know, gave her oral sex. And so she was really upset by this. She was really disgusted. She said when the guys seen her watching them have sex, they looked at her and they looked like two demons. Like they looked like the devil came over them and they started going off on her, cussing her out. And so she basically ran back to her truck and told the guys, well, if you guys want this to be between us, then y'all need to cut a check. And so she was like, you know, they have a $50,000 car. They need to be able to pay me. I want $5,000. They need to cash at me the money. So she went from supposedly exposing to then turning into an extortionist. And she's putting all this mess on Facebook, honey. When I tell you social media is is going to be the death of civilization because people don't even use common sense no more. For some reason, they think that posting stuff on social media is about to shield them from things that can happen in the real world. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and watch her rant. Now, this is a 17-minute video. I'm not going to play the whole 17 minutes. I'm probably going to just play about five to six minutes of the most important parts of the video. I want you guys to watch this, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I see the whole gay bird in front of my whole two eyes. Two. Two eyes. I had to come here and tell them about it. Listen. <laughs> Happy earlier today. Hold on. It, this nigga, y'all, that... Hold on, let me wait for some more people to get on here. Let me... Because y'all got to hear this story. Because this is a good story. You know, we hear a lot of shit, but we don't never really get to see that shit. Because these niggas, they hiding. Listen, y'all. They're hiding behind... The 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 covers in the sheets around this bitch. The covers in the sheets. You feel me? The covers in the sheets. Hatting. They're hatting. So I haven't, you know, discussing some shit with this nigga. We have some we were doing some business, me and this dude. Now I'm gonna tell you he did give me some head way back a long time ago. Nigga gave me some head, right? Never really talked to him like that. You know, I had the old man. I had a lot of other shit going on. So I never talked to the nigga like that. Listen. No, listen, listen, listen. So I was doing some business with this nigga, right? Hold on. I had to run in there and still take my phone and run out. They chased me out the house. Hold on. Pants hanging and they're right there. Hold on. Screaming, how of you though? They was I said, fuck all you. I don't give a fuck. You need to give me some money. I'm fucking telling everybody. You niggas got some money? We have you. Ain't nobody. Fuck Hallville. Hallville gonna have to pay. Because if not, it's just a story to be told. Oh, uh, y'all don't want to pay? Bitch, you was get, like, I let you give me some head and you are fucking niggas in they ass? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not going to fly. No, it's not. And I feel disgusted. I've been sick all day. I've been sick all day. Thinking about how I let you suck on my motherfucking pussy. And you're over there hitting the fudge out the back of niggas. I can't. I can't stomach it. But they say you four east side niggas been doing that shit. I ain't never seen that shit. Listen. I never seen that shit with my own two eyes. But today, I've been scoring for life. But today, I'm trying to move forward. Today has been one. Today, I've been traumatized. You niggas out here traumatizing bitches. Calling this phone, he don't, ain't want nobody answer. So I'm like, damn. So now I done got back over there. I done parked right up by the front door, though. Thank God, because they chased me out of there. They was trying to kill me. Y'all, they tried to kill me. So anything happened to me, y'all know they tried to kill me today. Them niggas. And then when I got in the car, I started talking shit. If anybody knows me, that's how I get down. As soon as I get to the car, I get close to my pistol. I'm really talking shit now. So wait a minute. So look, 
I'm in here. Hold on. <laughs> I'm banging on the door. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. So I'm knocking on this motherfucking door. I'm like, I need my fucking phone. That's my money bag. I'm like, hitting this motherfucking door. And I'm like, when nobody comes to the fucking door, right? I'm like, damn. Something told me to check the door. That motherfucker was unlocked. When I stepped in there, y'all. When I stepped. Oh my God, my stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. When I walked in there, y'all, what I seen with my own two eyes. Hold on. Thank God my phone was sitting on the table right there by the door. I swung that door, but I said, ah! And I was in the oh, I couldn't even talk. The words, the words, the words. I couldn't get the words out of my mouth, right? So I'm like, I'm trying to breathe. I'm like, and I just looked down and see my phone. I snatched my phone. They were standing there just staring at me. So, them motherfuckers looking like the devil. They was like, they was really trying to kill me. So, I just grabbed my phone off my ass. I was like, so I jump in, so running. I just jump back in my car. Remember I told you I parked up by the door, right? So, I get in my fucking car. And as I'm back in there, I'm like, hey, you motherfuckers, y'all better come up off some money. Y'all be talking that big money and shit. Give me a couple of bands or something now. Because this right here, this is unacceptable. I'm out the window like, you motherfuckers is trifling. And you bitches think y'all ain't going to get me. So wait. Dude said, come on back. I said, nah. You on bullshit. I was like, motherfucker, send it. Cash at me, motherfucker. I said, if you don't cash at me in the next hour, I'm telling the whole goddamn city what the fuck's going on. I was just, I told him just cash at me five bands. That's all. Shit, you in a $50,000 truck? I can't get five bands? I can't get five bands? So I was just like, get sent, cash at me five bands. That's it. And I ain't gonna sell a soul. You know, it won't be nothing on nothing. Huh. That motherfucker, look, I caught his phone. He kept saying, bitch, I'm Hallville. Bitch, ain't nobody gonna go against. I said, who the fuck is Hallville? Don't nobody give a fuck about Howville? Who the fuck? Does anybody know what the fuck is? What the Howville? What? I was just sitting over there. I got a bag on how at Howville. I sat in you bitches' faces and made a bag. What are you talking about? Enough to get me to my next location. So fuck a Howville. Who are ya? Howville, who is it? Anybody left? Who is this nigga? And so, hold on. I gave this nigga Apple opportunity. I even gave him an extra hour to come up with the money. I was like, listen, just run me the bag and I'll just try to forget. But at the same time, nigga, you could have let me know you was getting down like it. He said, bitch, I ain't got to tell you shit, bitch. I don't owe you no explanations, bitch. He's talking like a G, though. This nigga talking like he on gin, though. This nigga is talking like he's on gin, though, okay? I'm telling you, he's talking like a G. I said, boy, they told me they was doing it out east, but I didn't know y'all was doing it out west like this. I believe they out east. I don't heard about out east. I heard about you niggas out east getting nasty than a bitch about a bag. Y'all niggas, hey, out east, them niggas getting 20, 30 off white men of her. I don't know. But what I am going to say is, Jamal, you got the right bitch today. Because I take it personal because you gave me, you administrated head on me before. So now I got to go, well, I stay in the hospital. So, you know what I mean? They, I probably would have known if something would have happened to me behind the shit. But at the same time, you're not safe. You're not safe. You know, it's been a long time really since I touched you like that or whatever. But motherfuckers ain't safe out here, y'all. It's definitely not safe. They're sick. They're nasty. And they're just out here to get bitches. And they're out here. Just, man, that shit is real. That shit y'all see in ATL... That shit is so fucking real. And it's starting to come down. It's, it, it, it's tumbling down to our city. They're taking over. Everybody needs to check their nigga out straight up. Because these niggas are playing like they this and that. And got the keys to the city and all this and that. And they under the sheets and the covers.
All right, so you guys just watched her video. Now, on top of that, she also took to her Facebook page, and she also posted pictures of the guy, and she wrote, Gay Bird, I walked in on this Hogville nigga fucking his own cousin in the ass on my mama. These niggas are sick, and basically had, like, the sick face emojis. So there's a lot of disturbing shit that came from behind her exposing them. Basically, both of these guys who were sleeping with each other, they're allegedly cousins. So that right there is incest. But what ended up happening is that this morning, one of the two, if not both of them, done caught this woman slipping. And she's not made the news. And it's not nothing pretty. The woman is dead. They basically did a drive-by on her. She ended up crashing into another car. The car who had nothing to do with the situation is he's facing serious injuries. But she's dead for running her mouth on Facebook. Y'all go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Back here at home tonight, Metro Police now are trying to get to the bottom of a shooting and a violent car crash that killed a woman there on the scene. It happened this morning at 30th and Lafayette. That's on the northwest side of Indianapolis. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson has been there all day long talking to witnesses there. He also has their surveillance video showing exactly what happened this morning. Steve? Police believe this all started with gunfire two blocks north of this intersection. They are looking at video in this case as part of the investigation. This video shows the violent crash Tuesday morning involving a shooting victim on Indy's northwest side. You can see a driver speeding down Lafayette Road before slamming into another driver waiting in the turn lane. It spun it at least three times and it hit the Camaro, I mean, it hit the Altima. So when he gets out the car in one piece, which I was very surprised, he runs over to the Camaro to make sure she was all right. Inside the car, officers found a woman who had been shot prior to crashing. We have one confirmed adult female who has been shot. She was transported to the hospital and she succumbed to her injuries there and passed away at the hospital. Paramedics transported a man from another car in serious condition. Witnesses who saw it all told us they're sick and tired of Indy's violent crime wave. Oh, we need to stop it and go back to days when people took care of each other, um, watched over each other. People who recognize the shooting victim's car believe a controversial social media post is all to blame. They show different things. They put different things on there that should not be on social media. Crime lab workers will help piece together all of the evidence as homicide investigators put together what led to the deadly shooting and crash. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson. Steve, thank you. Meanwhile, tonight, poli Metro Police have not made any arrests or released any information about possible suspects in that case. Once they get that information to us, we'll, of course, pass it along to you. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So like I said, this entire situation is really disturbing. This woman literally lost her life trying to clout chase and look for social media validation. You know, there's a lot of things wrong with this story. One, let's start with this, okay? If you know anything about the gay community, if you have any gay male friends, they will let you know some of the most dangerous people in the gay community are men on the DL, those men are literally fighting some type of demon within themselves. They don't want to be open with their sexuality. They want to put on a facade and they're so scared to be outed. And if there's any threat to them being outed or being seen as not being masculine or being attached to anything homosexual, a lot of these DL men will flip. They will kill a gay man for trying to, you know, potentially out them. And in this situation, they had absolutely no problem killing a woman for running to Facebook and telling their business. So those are some of the most dangerous people in the LGBT are men who are on the DL. And this situation just proves that. Her wanting to clout chase, her wanting attention on Facebook, it just makes no sense. When you're dealing with people who are closeted, who already have issues, and they're already engaging in incest, so that's a whole nother pile of shit, okay, no pun intended. Sis, you should have just left this one alone. I'd have kept this to myself. I mean, the fact that not only did she blast them, but then she tried to threaten them by trying to extort them for money. I feel like she was doing way too much, especially when she said that when she looked at them, she thought they were demons. They, she thought the devil was in them and she ran because she feared that they was going to hurt her at that point. So at that point in time, they tried to lower her back to the house and she listened to her better judgment and said, no, I'm not going back to the house. They're not about to whoop my ass or kill me. If you were scared that they were going to kill you at that time and place. 
then why would you then run to social media and put all their business out there like you can't be touched? I mean, this is the really sad part is that she knew what she was dealing with, but she thought going on live and, and, you know, blasting them was going to protect her. And it just shows you that she was not dealing with sane people. So these men basically have ruined their lives because they didn't want to be outed. This woman is now dead because she wanted to be messy and look for, you know, Facebook validation and attention real quick. And so all of these people lose in the end. This entire situation is really frightening and sad. And this is why you have to be careful the type of energy that you put out there. Everything that you find out, all tea, is not meant to be spilled. Trust me. Everything don't need to be shared. And when it comes to outing people, when it comes to extorting people, that shit is never okay. You know, I feel bad for this woman because nobody should lose their life behind nothing like this. But again, as adults, we need to make smarter decisions and realize that life is too short. And, you know, certain games you don't want to play with. Certain people you don't want to test. And, you know, she decided to play a game and she won a stupid prize, which is that these two DL guys, I don't know if it was one of them or both of them, came back at her with a vengeance. So, again, people might want to think twice before you go trying to out people and especially trying to extort people. Because everybody's not going to play like that, especially when they feel like they have a reputation to uphold. And from what she was saying, these are two guys that you would not have thought swung that way. So they are two guys who were definitely DL, definitely knew what they were getting involved in and did not expect to be caught. And when she put it out there and put the man's picture out there, that was enough for him to go crazy. So this entire situation is extremely disturbing, but I hope this is a wake up call to a lot of people that one, don't play with folks and their sexuality. Outing people is never okay. Neither is murder. Okay, let's put that out there. You know, but outing people, trying to extort them is never okay. Because again, for every action, there's a reaction. She probably thought these guys might have just took it on the chin, cussed her out, you know, maybe send some girls to jump her. I'm sure she never expected them to catch her slipping in traffic and blow her head off. So this entire situation is just sickening and sad. Anyways, y'all want to know your thoughts on everything? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And last but not least, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you guys feel like she was all the way wrong for outing them and she caused this on herself? Or do you feel like these guys were all the way wrong for reacting the way that they did? Because there's a lot of mixed emotions right now on social media. Quite a few people in the LGBT community are saying that's what she gets she deserves that because you know she outed them that's never okay other people are saying there's never an excuse for murder this is sickening so it's it's a lot of discussions going on right now i want to hear from my tea sippers i want to hear y'all's opinions on this case so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right